right, so this is it. Uh, this is like the worst day to check out a new gym, but this is the new gym that we're opening up in Christiansand. I haven't checked it out. I mean, I've been inside just now, but uh, this is the first time I see it and I'm really excited. And it's not finished yet. We just did like a soft opening, so we just have a little area for bouldering. But like during the summer, we're gonna build the whole thing, and it's uh, September 1st, it's gonna be finished. I mean, it's almost as big as the one in Oslo, and Kristiansand is a much smaller town, so I even considered moving here um, when uh, when I saw the the pictures of the building. It's so much bigger in real life, though. Like when looking at pictures, they all look it looks pretty small. You see the building. It's brand new. The people who uh, who were renting this before us, they went bankrupt, unfortunately. But fortunate for us, because that meant that we could take over. And it's a really nice building. It's like brand new, modern. It's really hot here, actually. Ooh. Okay, so this is the first time I see the gym. I think it looks a lot bigger in real life than it looks in the pictures. We should check out upstairs first. Pretty high. Feels, uh, it feels higher, but it's only, it's uh, 17 and a half meters high. How tall is it in Oslo? Oslo is about the same. But for some reason, this just seems a lot bigger. And this will be my second gym. I don't know, some of you already know, I'm part owner in the gym in Oslo. And I will also be part owner of this gym. But all this has got to, this uh, has to go, you know, all the beams and stuff. This used to be an adventure park, but then the adventure park went bankrupt and we were allowed to take over. So this is only a soft opening. There's a bouldering area downstairs and we're gonna boulder there today. Like in the summer, we're gonna turn this into a full climbing gym. We're gonna have big walls there. Over there, there's gonna be like competition walls. And then the beginner wall that we're gonna leave that and we're gonna make the bouldering area a lot bigger. This building is brand new and it's only five minutes from Christian uh, city center. Uh, so it's really close. It's like a perfect location down south in Norway. So it's pretty exciting to be part of this and look just look at all the like there's so much space in here offices i don't know how many offices but there has to be like uh, 20 offices or something in here and it's so open and nice and you see like the building is brand new we're gonna look at the bathrooms downstairs uh, in a second but it's all like it's super clean and nice and you have all these windows and, and look at that elevator let's see It's really nice. The building itself is almost nicer than the one in Oslo. I don't know, everything is here for us to start. Like it's, it's a perfect building for a climbing gym. And they're really hard to come by in our way. You don't get a lot of buildings with high ceiling like this. Right now they're like blue and green and red lights. We're gonna change that. We're gonna make it really like uh, uh, normal, normal lights. So there are, uh, changing rooms and bathrooms in, on each floor. Uh, so I think there are four different floors. So a lot of bathrooms and a lot of changing rooms and the reception area. I just like the design of everything, you know, it's, it's really, really cool. I've seen so many pictures of it and it looks way cooler in real life. I mean, there are four different uh, toilets just like this one. We're just gonna show you, should we go to the, the women's one? That's always more clean. We go to that. Very modern. They have like three bathrooms. Look, we have to take down all of, all of this stuff it has to go. Uh, take this down and then build huge climbing walls. So we have the same auto belay system as the Oslo gym, True Blue, not sponsored. Uh, but this wall is, uh, what do you call it, structure in English, I guess, which uh, a lot of beginners tend to like, just because it feels and it looks like real rock, but uh, more experienced climbers hate it. That's because you can't change the wall, you know. This wall, you can probably climb without using any holds, so you can't make it much harder than it already is. You see the structure here is so good. You could easily climb up only using that. You can't put big holes on it because you see the surface is uneven. So if you put big holes on it, there will be cracks behind the holes. So you can only use really small holes like this and ugly holes like this. This is what I call an ugly hold. I don't like that hold at all. 
and uh, this kind of wall almost it forces you to to set with those holes so for a root setter it's terrible setting on a wall like this is it's really crappy but we're going to keep this wall for the beginners just because it's an expensive wall and it's also expensive to get rid of it so we're going to keep it for now and then focus on having putting up some really good walls and also the bouldering area is going to be expanded there's going to be a second the second floor here is going to be expanded to like almost halfway to the beams over there the bouldering area is going to be huge and we're going to move all the training boards a little bit on the sides but that's a like that's the dream you know because when there's such a big space here so we can do exactly what we want in it let's test the auto blaze Så lagde han sånn syk lyd akkurat da. Er du sikker da? Let's test another one. Fuck! There are a lot of accidents with the, um, with the true blues. Believe it or not, people actually start climbing without being clipped in. So in the gym in Oslo, we had to make these a lot bigger to make sure that people wouldn't start climbing without being clipped in. I don't know how people do it, but when you're like, it's because like you climb, when you climb with an auto blade, you climb on your own. You don't have a second person to check you all the time. If you're in the zone, you're doing a training session, you just climb up and down and up and down, and then you forget that you're not clipped in and you start climbing. Okay, let's try this one. Yeah, it's safe. Is that like the security check? This is the security test. <laughs> Oh wait, what is, what is this? Oh yeah, that was gonna be an artificial waterfall down here. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard, I think. <laughs> <laughs> like, who wants that in a gym? It doesn't, there's no need for that, you know? If you're a non-climber and you want to make something cool, like a climbing wall cool, you would design something like that, you know, like a water slide or like a waterfall next to it. Yeah, that has to go too. It's what we do in the, during the long and cold and dark winters in Norway. It's how we get vitamin D. I mean, that's no joke. I mean, not this light, but actually during winter in Norway, it's so dark that people have to stare, especially foreigners who are not used to it. They buy these lamps and they stare into them to get more vitamin D, to not get depressed. So this is the bouldering area. It's a, just a soft opening. We're gonna open a much bigger bouldering area once the real deal opens, but this is just a, a temporary bouldering wall. Uh, this is gonna be a moon wall, tension board, and a kilter board. It's uh, 2,000 square meters in surface, ground surface, and it'll be about the same, 2,000 square meters in wall uh, surface. So it's a one-to-one. -one. There's just as much wall as ground. And that's pretty, I think it's gonna feel very spacious and open. That's the experience you will have climbing in it. A lot of gyms have like three to one, like three times as much wall surface as ground surface. And then I, the gyms tend to feel pretty like cramped and uh, claustrophobic almost. Oslo, uh, Oslo climbing gym is about the same. It's a one to one ratio. And uh, I will definitely be back for the opening. This is, uh, we just wanted to make a few videos here to show you guys how this is now how this looks now and then you can see the end results uh, in September it's very clean modern open spacious yeah it's just perfect have you been climbing much since last time uh, Marcus uh, not really I bought new shoes <laughs> I was gonna yeah, say yeah. you have new shoes <laughs> new scarpas of course yeah the Dragos. Yeah. How do you feel? How have you moved up one grade since you started wearing <laughs> scarpas? Maybe half a grade. Half a grade. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, we'll see. And Alan, you graded these bowlers, right? Yeah. Yeah. So all the grades here, if they don't feel accurate, we have uh, the person to blame right here with us. Who sets? Who set these bowlers? Aistan and the Spanish girl. Yeah, Helena. Helena. Yeah. yeah. So two different root setters, uh, up to seven B plus, I think. We should set some hard ones. Yeah, we should set some hard ones. Maybe not in this video. Maybe we'll make one more video because a lot of people have requested like a video where we set bowlers ourselves. So we might do that in another video. Make two videos from Christian Sun. And if you're ever in the area, you should come by this gym, obviously. Who's building this wall? Design uh, the friction walls. The same as uh, or Kjellman Pension. It's the same as uh, the gym in Oslo, but it's a little bit different. These they look nicer, cleaner. 
The lower part of the wall is darker and that's because of all the, the rubber from the shoes. Climbing walls tend to look really ugly after a while, but these won't look as ugly because the dark part down here is where most of the shoes will uh, scratch the wall. But there are all, there's almost no friction on this, like very little friction. To be honest, I think, there, I think it's good, but I think a lot of people prefer when there's a little bit of friction on the wall so they can smear. I don't know, what do you like, Adel? I tend to like uh, non-friction walls. You like non-friction walls? Because then the root setter can like yeah. make the, the root uh, like as they intended. Yeah, it's also kind of ironic how friction walls make walls without friction. You know? yeah. <laughs> what do you prefer, Marcus? I, I like friction because, yeah. you know, it's nice That's, with all the help. But my experience is that experienced climbers, they prefer no friction yeah. and not so experienced climbers uh, prefer friction. Yeah, we should start uh, climbing though. It's just like empty climbing gym again. I feel like we always film in these empty climbing gyms and people keep asking where the people are and how are we always filming when there's no one else around? How do we manage that? People think that our gyms go bankrupt because there's no one there ever. But in fact, we have the key to the gyms and we can train or film whenever we want and we prefer to film when there are no people because then we don't have to be like uh, the music and all the people in the background and stuff we don't have to deal with so that is the reason okay let's start climbing okay uh we've warmed up a little bit i'm gonna start with something uh something that looks fun this uh seven a plus dino You, uh, you graded that, right? Yeah. What do you think? The jump is easy, but the, rest the is top is not that yeah. Yeah. easy. Marcus, what was your what's your uh, uh, hardest grade so far? You've done 60, right? Yeah. It was a 60 plus you struggled on in the last video yep. we shot. I already looked for some 60 pluses. There are quite a few 60 pluses that you can try. Yeah. And now you have scarper shoes, so <laughs> no excuses this time. All right, I'm gonna try this. Uh, looks a little bit more tricky. 70 plus. So we're complaining about the lights in here. Now we got some more lights, so now the picture is gonna look a lot better. One, two, three, four. Wow. Two Whatever. small ones to place these on the ground. Got 
for jeg dug ned når du falt, så jeg fikk akkurat. What are you gonna try now, Marcus? I'm not sure. I've seen this 60 plus, the red one. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Ooh. Alan, you want to demonstrate? I can try. What was that? Try? What? Yeah, I'll try. What was I, that? I will do it. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> try is not in my vocabulary. Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you said try. try. That's because yeah. you said try. <laughs> the whole like uh, the left one was really slippery. Yeah. Are you gonna try this uh, again? Uh, I'll, I'll try it again. No, that was wrong. <laughs> that was a trick question. Are you gonna try this again? I will do it. You'll do it. Yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> Come out. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Come on. Right, right. Well, that looks pretty hard for a 60 plus, man. Come on. Yes. Nice. Fuck, it's hard. <laughs> did you grade this? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I think I was drunk when I tried to grade it. You asshole. <laughs> okay, after seeing Adam fail, yeah. uh, almost fail the first time. It's not hard, it's just me that is weak. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'll try the orange one. There's an orange 60 plus here. Maybe you should demonstrate again, yeah. Arlen. Arlen is one of those names that I don't really know how to say in English. We've talked about this before, but Earl is like the closest name. <laughs> and it's not really. <laughs> My name is Earl. Earl. You know that show, TV show? Yeah. My name is Earl. Isn't that a TV show? Isn't that... Uh... It's an American TV show. My name is Earl. Or, uh, is it Earl? Uh, yeah, you're too young, uh, Marcus. Yeah. You don't know. <laughs> you have no idea what we're talking about. I'll try the orange one. Yeah. He said, try again. <laughs> <laughs> when is he gonna learn? Come on. Nice. Yeah. Come on out. Oh yeah, the top hole is loose. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's a nice part when that uh, hole is loose. You yeah. can just twist it the way you want and then yeah. it's perfect. So the last one I did was uh, 7B that felt pretty soft. So I'm gonna try another 7B here. This one. That one has like zero chalk. So not a lot of people have tried this one, it seems. Foothole <laughs> or foot placement. So that was a 7B. That was another 7B. I think we have two 7B pluses here. Yeah. That we can try. The white one and uh, this green one. Those are the hardest uh, currently. And then I think we've done them all. You still have to get a 60 plus though. Yep. But we should find something that suits you better. I think for you also, like the upper arm power stuff is like gonna feel easier. Yeah. I'll just try the white one now, I think. 7B+. plus. Doesn't look so bad, actually. I think Earl has been nice grading these. <laughs> you were in a good mood, huh? Weren't yeah. you? I just guessed. <laughs> I didn't really climb them. It's like... 7B+. Plus. <laughs> Call me cheap. You can say I lay a
this, this wall is so much longer than it looks. It's like this boulder is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve uh, moves in total, and that's a lot for bouldering. I'll try the, the black one. I'll, I'll do the black one. <laughs> You'll do the black one. Yeah, this one. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> What's your first impression so far of the bouldering? So far, the bouldering, I think, uh, is nice for like a, to start with. It's not enough. Uh, there has to be a lot more. Uh, but I think it's well set, and I, I like the walls a lot. I like the, how they're painted. I don't know the, about the zero friction. I prefer if there's actually a little bit of friction, but uh, these walls uh, have like zero friction. I'm not sure what I think about that. I don't know. What do you think so far? I'm happy. I mean, uh, there's just yeah. this section so far, but... And then there's going to be the training boards, but they're not up yet. But we can use them to set some bowlers in yeah. maybe in another video, because this video is already pretty long, I think. In December, I, I was just editing the whole time. I had no time to be with friends or family or anything, just editing the whole time. So in January now I'm gonna do a, have a vacation for the first time in a long time. It's gonna be really nice and I'm even gonna turn off my phone. I'm not gonna use internet for like a week and I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah. I'm not gonna climb, I'm not gonna train uh, and I'm not gonna use the internet at all and I'm definitely not gonna edit a whole week without editing. I think I need a vacation now so so if I look tired, I'm really sorry. I'll come back stronger and more energized. Okay, let's do the last 7B plus. I'll do one more bowler though. There's a 7A plus slab and slabs tend to be a lot harder. So my guess is that the 7A plus slab will be a lot harder than the 7B plus on this wall. <sighs> okay, so I'll try this 6C now. You decided not to try the 6C plus? Yeah. Because you've done 6C before, but have you done a slab 6C before though? No, no. I, and I hate slabs. It's, Everyone does. Yeah, but uh, we'll see. Maybe and look I'll... at the lights we have set up. <laughs> <laughs> like we're shooting a music video yeah, or something. Yeah. How much have you climbed since last time? Not very much. No? It's, uh, maybe once or twice. Okay, yeah. Have you gotten any better, you nope. think? No. But I, I really feel the difference with the shoes though. Yeah. It makes a huge difference. You so. said it's more uncomfortable though. Your yeah. other shoes, but they were probably just like way too big. Thanks for bringing us the ladder. Yeah. You're adapting to the YouTube life. Come on. Yeah. Get it? Come on. Come on, get it. It's good. Almost there. The triangle is good. Yeah. Maybe move the lamps a little bit back. It's like really bright now. People think uh, YouTube life is glamorous. It's not. It's, it's not glamorous. It's hard as fuck. <laughs> 
Yeah. And if you think this is hard, uh, Earl, you should try editing. Yeah? <laughs> That's a real bitch. <laughs> Come on, fat f***. <laughs> <laughs> this went from like zero to a hundred. <laughs> we, we just. <laughs> Thanks, Earl. Come on. Come on. Get it? Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I think you should place your foot, uh, your foot here. Left? Yeah, the left one. The foot doll looks really slippery right now. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Is that the top? Oh, it continues? No. Yeah. Ooh, it yeah, continues. Oh, really? Wow. That's like your root. What is going on? What? Guys, come on, man. Whoa! The top uh, was really that's hard. That's so weird. Yeah. That's really strange. Do you have a plan for the top? Nope. Because that looks pretty hard. Yeah. <laughs> the top match. Earl just <laughs> <laughs> It's so it funny really calling hard. him Earl. Yeah. <laughs> it's so different from his name in Norwegian. Yeah. Okay, so you are all set. Place my foot in the crack yeah. and not on top. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yes. Come on. Get it. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Oh. As soon as you grab the white on the wing, you should place the right foot here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then go, you go left on top of the. Yeah, but it's pretty bad, and then you go straight. Straight to the triangle. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yes! Oh, man, just years <laughs> of that. That's a nice face there too, I think. <laughs> okay, so I think this is gonna be my last try. Wish you luck. Thanks. Come on. Hit it. Yes! Nice, oh. come on! Come on, come on! Come on! Oh! oh. As soon as you like yeah, stand up, it's quite good. Yeah, because then you get the hand on top and then go. Yeah, and the triangle is, is pretty good. Yeah. You wanna try something, Magnus? I'll try the uh, 7A Plus lab next to it. This? Yeah, looks interesting. I think it's quite hard. Yeah? Yeah, the, the, the yeah you, I mean, you graded all of these, <laughs> so you should know. <laughs> graded, yeah. But I think you've been I pretty guess. nice with the grade so far. But I think this one is quite hard. Yeah, on slabs we're all the same. So, have you done this one though? No, I tried. Yeah. First move. Yeah. First move was definitely the hardest. Uh, but I think we're gonna end this video here. In the next video, we're gonna try to set some boulders on the on the walls. Uh, we're gonna show you how to set boulders. We're gonna teach you, Marcus, how to set boulders. <laughs> um, so stay tuned. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe as always. Uh, that would really mean a lot. I know that still. Uh, only 30% of the people watching are subscribed, so please subscribe. Um, really helps out a lot. Yeah, see you guys in the next video. What's wrong with you? <laughs>